like kokanee being here is it just a miracle uh, being a keystone species they have a huge obviously significance for the ecosystem but they have cultural significance and recreational significance thousands of kokanee salmon have been making the long trip up mission creek in recent weeks looking to spawn before passing on the annual spawning began in early September, but it's actually peaked a bit early this year. Our numbers started off really good this year and we were quite hopeful, um, but the numbers have already peaked, which is unusual. So uh, we're not quite where we'd like to be as far as our numbers. The amount of fish that are already spawned and died is quite surprising to see. Last year was wonderful. We had our best numbers in our rec recent recorded histories for the kokanee salmon. So this is a bit of a disappointment for sure. Kokanee salmon are entirely freshwater, so they're born in the creeks. And in this case, they'll be in Okanagan Lake for their whole lives and then return back to their natal grounds. The average age, we say, is about four years. But right now, beside us, we have some three-year-olds, four-year-olds, and potentially some five-year-olds. And the difference there is just size. Roughly about 2,000 fish in here we peak at, so that's per day. The Mission Creek spawning grounds are one of the more important areas for this keystone species. Mission Creek is the primary channel where they will go up to spawn, so it is a critical space for them. Mission Creek, though, decades and decades ago was diked, so it's very much a runway now. It's up and down, it has large boulders on the side, it's wide open to predators. So it's not necessarily an ideal environment for the kokanee salmon in the 80s. This spawning channel was built to help encourage the salmon to come here, have a better spawning opportunity, and hopefully a greater survival rate for the eggs. Staff at the Environmental Education Centre of the Okanagan, off Springfield Road, have adapted to COVID times, and they're hosting information sessions about the popular event through the weekends. Yeah, we've adapted, um, we've gone way above and beyond. It's been really exciting for us to be able to do this and to try things in a different way. Huge learning curve like for everyone, but it's been a lot of fun. The technology learning's been fun and seeing people in a different venue has been fun. Although obviously seeing people, in, like when we have kid groups come now, it's so nice to see them again. <laughs> Those interested in checking out the fascinating spawning event can't wait too long though. Kitmer thinks they'll be wrapped up this year by Thanksgiving. For Castanet News here in Kelowna, I'm Nick Johansson.